this is Farmer Teacher on Farming Simulator 22 and what I want to talk to you today about real quick is whether to buy or to lease your equipment. Whether to buy or lease your equipment, which one is better, which one is more cost effective uh, in the long run. So what I did is this farm you see here, I ran a test for five years, five years, and I'm in my fifth year right now, still playing, but I ran this test for five years to see how I came out. And after five years, including all the expenses and everything, and buying uh, quite a bit of equipment, let me just show you what I got. I got two large tractors, John Deere. I got this harvester. I got a truck, power push trailer, headers that go with the harvester, both of them. A large cultivator, uh, the largest seeder. And then I was getting low on money, so I got a relatively large planter, but not the largest. Uh, but both of those do fertilizing and seeding and then I got a fertilizer spreader and then I bought fertilizer that goes with that uh, If you look over here, oops wrong way You can see I put the little simple farmhouse on there uh, a silo and a thousand dollar uh, Selling point that is a mod Just to save me some trips now what I did is I stored all the crops I planted Canola, canola, blah, 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 sorry, canola in that black field there that's already harvested. I just replanted that. Sunflowers to the right, and this is sorghum that I just harvested. So I did those things. Get him out of the way. Sorry. All right, so I planted those three fields. All that equipment and these three fields to buy, 55, 53, 54, plus the fertilizer and the seeds was $1.9 million, uh, $26,000. So quite a bit of money, quite a bit of money. So you start on Farm Manager with a million and a half dollars. And then I borrowed about 465,000. So right around there. So I had almost, I needed a little bit of a cushion in case I needed some money. So, cause I'm storing the crops there until the optimum time to sell them. So if you go to the crop prices, you look at sunflower seeds there, you're going to, you know, harvest the, or sell that in March, same time you plant it. Sorghum, you're going to sell that in January and canola, you're going to sell that around November. So, and that's what I did. So all that said and done, after five years, I was 130,000 to the good. So I was able to pay down my loan hundred and thirty thousand dollars so now to the lease part so I went and I leased the same equipment now since I didn't have to spend as much money leasing because leasing is less let's just look at an item real quick so if you look at a harvester right here and I were to lease that that's not including the header you're gonna have to give them fourteen thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars right now today all right, look at that daily cost though, $2,850 a day. And then per work hour, almost six grand per hour that you use it. So all this starts to add up. Let's look at the tractors that I got. Ooh, those are medium, sorry. Okay, and I had to up the horsepower on these a little bit to that. So. That cost 261,000 to buy, but it's gonna cost me 13,000 up front to lease it, and 2,600 a day and $5,500 an hour to use this thing. The bottom line is, uh, my leasing cost, it, without even using anything, was like 14,000 a day, 13,500, I think. By the time I used the equipment to run my farm, I was paying 19 or 20,000 a month in leasing fees. Now, I was only making about 140,000 a year uh, from those fields. So what I did, now since I had some freed up cash, in addition to 55, 53, and 54, I also purchased 57 and 56 to give me more real estate to realize the return. So I was making more money than the other one, but my expenses were so much higher, I was losing $100,000 a year. and it, Less than two years, basically, I was bankrupt. So, you do not want to lease equipment on Farm Simulator 22 if you're playing seasons. Okay, because the seasons, you only get one crop a year, and that's going to eat into your money. If you're doing 19, 
you know, farming similar to 19 and you're getting several harvests per year, uh, you could probably do that. Or maybe on the easy mode, this is on the normal economic mode, was not economically feasible. So the only time I would lease something is if it was something small, like I needed to cut down some trees at the edge of a field, I leased the uh, tree be gone mod, used it for a day, then I turned it back in. So something small like that that you don't want to buy and keep uh, that you just need temporarily, you could lease. Other than that, stay away from leasing. You're a whole lot better off to buy it. Even maxing out your loan from the bank is way less. I was only paying like 16 hundred and change in loan interest, you know, per month on my loan. And I was able to pay 130 of that down in the five years. So that's all I got. Uh, the bottom line is uh, don't lease unless you can absolutely help it. And give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the channel if you like what you're seeing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.